All right, so we're going to be playing a a new shooter game. As you've probably guessed what it is already. Um, we're going to be playing 007 Goldeneye. Um, I'm going to be playing on the easiest difficulty. Just because, like, my control scheme is really weird right now. But, um... And I just want to show you, like, as many of the levels as possible, as quickly as possible. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna play through kind of quickly. All right, so... There we go. Took that guy out pretty quick. Hello. Taking him out pretty silently, too. Got a bunch of ammo. Got a sniper rifle. Oh, they're coming. But they're not both coming. Oh, is he coming up these stairs? They have to know I'm up here, right? Oh, there he is. He was just going to check out the other guys. He hadn't even noticed that I was there yet. Oh, so this guy is on this side. Oh, one shot him. <laughs> <clears throat> so the only thing we have to do is just get to the end of the level and like jump off this cliff, basically. Um, which is going to be pretty easy. Just got to get around all these guys. Oh. Without getting shot. Oh, did I shoot him or not? Oh, come on. They're pretty protected in that little bunker thing they're in. Lots of guys shooting at me now. Oh, hello. The audio... The auto-aim is much better on the easier difficulty, too, which is really helping me out. Oh, oh see? Because my sensitivity is so darn high. I'll see if I can adjust it in a second, but right now I just want to... All right. Can I... Okay. I got it. And then I think if I go into this tower, there might be some body armor. Oops. Yep. Body armor. Sweet. Which is going to help out in a little bit. Yeah, so we should be able to play through a bunch of these levels. I actually just played through this entire game not too long ago. Oh, come on. Open the door. So it should be fairly easy to get through. We might be able to do it in just a couple episodes. Take him out before he trips the alarm. <laughs> get that guy. See if there's anything upstairs. Nothing. All right. Alrighty, so now we just got to go through here. Open. We're using a silenced gun so the guy in the other room can't hear me. That's right. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost done. Alright, so... Oops. Wrong button. It's been a while for first-person shooters on N64 had some really weird controls. We're going to snipe this guy. Oops. All right. Zoom all the way in. Yep, sniped him. And we're going to only have to kill one more guy. <clears throat> you also get more ammo and stuff in the easier game mode. 
So that's really good. Oh, oh, nope, dang it. All right, come on. There we go. Sweet. And now we can just jump off the edge. Oh, come on, go up the stairs. No, up. There we go. Woo! He's like, uh, I don't know, that looks really far. All right, I guess. Here we go. I hope he has a parachute, because it doesn't look like he does. <laughs> All right. So that's the first level. Completed. Next. So now we're in the facility. All right. And I pretty much know what I'm doing through all these levels. Do, 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 Now, if I can get just try not to get out of the hole because I can shoot this guy. Yeah, there we go. Take him out before I even get down there. And then there's another guy here. And in there. Good place to get some ammo before we get going through the rest of the facility. Oh, hi. Right, shut the door. So we can go this way. Oh, hello. And then we go in here, because I think this guy... Yeah, key card. We need that. Um, no, I'm not going to start using that yet. Oh, I have remote mines. Oh, I know what those are for. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Oh. Hi. Oh. Hello. Okay, this is where we've already been. So we got the security clearance key card, which lets us get in here. Just keep strafing around the corner. They can't hit you if you strafe around the corner. I'm gonna activate the security door. Security door. Get the body armor. Oh. It was auto-aiming to him, but he was behind the wall. And this is without cheats or anything, because this was a completely cleared save file. If you saw when I started the game. So, no cheats, no funny business. Oh. Who is shooting at me? Oh, someone is shooting at me. Lots of guys, apparently. <laughs> I must have tripped some kind of alarm. <laughs> oh, now they saw me. And now they're coming around here. Just keep strafing back and forth. They can't hit you if you just keep running back and forth in the doorway. Alright, so we're going to go this way. Because I think this is the only way we have to go. Go, 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 go. Objective A completed. 
And I pretty much know where all the guys are, like, hiding. And I'm gonna run out of... I must be full of AK-47 ammo. Because it's not letting me pick up anymore. That's okay, I'm almost out of ammo with this, and then I'll start using that. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah, there's actually a, an objective where you reduce um, scientist casualties or something like that. Where if so many scientists die, then you fail the mission. Time to leave, Dr. Doak. You'll need this decoder to open the bottling room. Good luck, 007. Okay, did you give it to me? Or did you throw it? I hope he gave it to me. Okay, he gave it to me. So this is the bottling room, I guess? So here's how we're going to do this. Is we have to meet up with this guy. And then while he's talking, glad you could make it, 007. Two, three. For England, James. For England, Alec. And now we wait. It was too easy, Alec. Half of everything is luck. And the other half... <laughs> Fate. Alright, so we get going here. These guys start coming in, and kaboom. We blow up all of those. Objective C completed, and we escape. Yes, so that's it. See, that cutscene wouldn't show up if we hadn't done all of the objectives. Alright. So we have plenty of time. We're going to keep on moving. I think... I don't remember what the objectives are for this. I should have looked before I just moved on. Let's look real quick. Find the plane ignition key. Escape, escape in the plane. Okay. I know exactly what I'm doing. Which is super easy. Pick up some timed mines. What's in here? Probably grenades. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh. This darn sensitivity. I turn too fast, so I end up, like, aiming past guys all the time. Alright, so there's gotta be a guy right there. And a guy right there. Okay. And that's the ignition key. Sweet. Objective A. So now, all I have to do is get to the plane without it blowing up. Um, I can't really see him out that far, but I'm going to try to hit him. I just have to get it. Yeah, that worked. I think he's dead. Not this guy. He's not dead. Okay. We've been fairly stealthy so far. Okay, that guy's dead. Oh, but now they're going to start coming from this side. Come on. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Now let's see. Um, timed mines are gonna go right there. No, nope, switch guns. Give me something I can shoot him with. Did it blow up the thing? I don't think it blew up the thing. Because I have to destroy those turret things, or else they'll just keep shooting at me, and they could possibly blow up the 
blow up the plane I'm supposed to escape on. So, that didn't work. Maybe hand grenade? Nope, because it just bounced off. Dang it. Alright, maybe if I aim, like, directly on it. Dang it. Up. Now, get out of there. Alright, so I have a clob, apparently. Ah! Dang it. Did it still not blow up? Oh, maybe it did. Okay, yeah, it did. Alright, so I should just be able to get to the plane. Oh, come on, don't. Yes! Alright. <laughs> oh, man. Because those turrets, they can shoot at the plane, and I've actually played it through where they've blown up the plane. So I can't leave. Oh, new cheat available. For beating that in a certain amount of time, I guess. Okay. Uh, power down communication disc. Enter, enter base via ventilation tower. Okay. Four years ago. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go through... This one's really easy, too. But it just might take a little bit longer than the other ones. Because I think the dish is, like, right in front of us. Yeah. There's a bunch of guys. Yeah, there's the dish. Way out in the distance. So you can see it better when you're not looking directly at it. <laughs> Which is a weird perspective that a lot of games have. But I have to disable the dish, and in order to disable the dish... I might need a key. And the key, I think, is in one of those cabins. But I don't know. I might not need a key. Hi. Goodbye. And there's... I think there's a camera here somewhere. No? Maybe that's only in... Because you come back here later. Oh, you can just walk right in. Okay. Dish has been powered down. <laughs> But you do come back here later, and you have to get back in here. And there's, like, a camera that'll set off an alarm if it sees you. And there's, um, like, that door's locked, and you have to find the key in, a, in one of the cabins and all that stuff. Alright, and we're going up. Alright. No, stop looking up because I'm moving. Whenever you move, like, forward or anything, it, like, looks back up. Oh, God, is there a guy down there? Or is he... Oh, he's right there. I was like, is there a guy down there shooting me? But yeah, whenever you move forward, you start to look back up, and it's throwing me off. There we go. And we just jump down. Alright. Cool. And then... Severnaya... Severnaya Bunker. Yeah, we're going through these pretty quick. I mean, this is what, the fourth? The fourth level? 
It's only been about 20 minutes. Don't let him hit the alarm. It just said picked up ammo, but ammo for what? Come on, shoot the darn thing. Okay. I just saw a guy, a guy walk past here. What are my object objectives? I didn't look. Copy gold Nike and leave the original photograph main video screen. Okay. So I basically just have to get to the main room. Nope. Oh. Watch out for the camera. Destroy the camera. Oh, I got a security key card, apparently. Alright. So that's a dead end. Because it's like you come back here later and it's more like the place has been completed. Is that another security key card? Oh, computer room key card. Okay. Because that makes sense. Yeah, so I can get in here. Shoot him. Ow. Stop that. <laughs> it's not nice. Alright, then I can go in here too, but there's nothing there. Oh, camera. Hopefully it doesn't see me. Alright, there we go. Took it out. Oh, I was like, he obviously doesn't see me over there. But I got some body armor out of it. Oh, he jumped off to the side. They only do that every once in a while when they think you're going to shoot at them. I've actually missed guys because they jumped out of the way like that. Okay. Yeah, if you spend too long in here, then guys randomly start coming out of nowhere. Put your hands up. Come on. Oh, maybe I have to kill all these idiots first. So you basically just gave me the same gun I have, but without a silencer. That's great. There we go. Don't you dare. Okay, I guess he doesn't do anything. <laughs> I picked up the gold Nike. Then I have to go... Um, Where is it? Key analyzer? Is that it? Analyzing the gold Nike. And then, okay. Objective A completed. Now I just have to get out my camera. Oh, come on. There we go. And I have to do that. Okay. And that's it. All right, and I am out of here. <clears throat> so we're going to do one more. We're going to do the launch silo. And then that'll be this episode. It'll be kind of short, but I kind of want to split this game up, make it multiple episodes. I mean, there are a lot of... Um, there are a lot of levels to this game, but... Um, I don't want to go through it too quickly, because I want it to last a little while. Because most of the ones I've been playing on Thursdays, like, it's kind of hard for me to find games to play on Thursdays. Like, the shooters and the beat-em-ups and that kind of stuff. Um, so I've been mostly, like... Oh, no. I hope reduce... 
um, scientist casualties isn't one of the objectives, which it absolutely might be. Yep. <laughs> all right. So I just have to photograph the satellite and then make it all the way through. So that's not going to be too bad. Ah. Uh, I gotta pay more attention to my ammo. Make sure I'm not empty before I try to unload on somebody. Oh. That's great, just shoot the explosive barrel. And if you're not careful, they will shoot the explosive barrel. <laughs> Circuit board, key card. Sweet. Because you have to, like, intimidate the scientists to get them to give you the key card. And then they'll just throw it at you, and then you can go about your way. Man, these guys are slow. <laughs> I crumb through the door ready for them and... I must have full ammo in the machine gun. So we're not quite at the satellite yet. How do you not see me? Don't shoot the computer. Because if you blow up that scientist, he might not give me the key card. Oh, he gave me the key card, okay. Because they like they put their hands up because you're aiming at them and then they just kind of throw it. My turn. See, my turn. There's never anything to the left. Oh, there's body armor over there, though. But I think I already have full body armor. So that's not going to do me any good. Look at that. The auto-aim function is amazing in this. <laughs> I, like, hardly have to move at all and just take out, like, five or six of them at once. Okay, so here's the satellite. Oh. Don't blow up the satellite. Alright, so I have to take a picture of the satellite camera there we go objective a completed Oromov kill him too bad Oromov I'm too good that's right Isn't there usually, like, a countdown at this point? Of some kind? Or maybe it's only after Oromov leaves. Yeah. Alright, here we go. That's the end of the level. So, uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Because I think this is a good place. We've played through a few levels, and I'll be doing some more maybe the next couple episodes will be a bit longer maybe we can go through a couple different difficulties on this um just to see like the different objectives and more uh levels unlock as you go along so uh thank you guys for watching this like comment subscribe share and all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next one bye